We need to wait. We need to wait. Look at that! Ooh. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. This is all we can do here. This is all we can do here! Oh, this is all we can do! Whoa! So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Little Nightmares. We are back up on this game guys because the DLC, The Secrets of the Moor, has finally been released. Or at least part of it has anyway. We have a first part of a trilogy guys and we are playing as a completely different character and I think things are going on at a similar time. As Six is actually going through the ship experiencing her side of stuff, we as this new kid, this mysterious kid, I don't know who the freak it is, we are also trying to escape the moor. So this is going to be really cool and a great great experience and man i am so excited now if you guys are also looking forward to this episode and want to part two on this really really soon you already know what to do guys come on man what the what the hell so as you guys can see as we go into the chapter selection we now have this downward shift Ooh. Oh, this is the new storyline, guys. And this is what also makes me think things are happening at the same time. Like, maybe it will build... I don't know. Maybe we'll see the things happening throughout, like, Six's experience, too. It will be really cool to see, like, maybe if she does something here. We might see, like, a counteraction of it downstairs. I don't freaking know. The only way we're gonna know is by jumping into this. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? So we've already broken out. Huh. This is interesting. And he's swimming. Is he outside of the moor? Does he get on the moor? Too many questions, right? Ooh, 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 check that. Oh, no, that, well, that kid's got his dead. Whoa, <gasps> this is how it all joins together. It was just a dream, kind of like what Six was experiencing with her flashbacks with the geisha, right? So wait, hold up just a moment right here. We're the kid who's sleeping in the bed. Are we hearing what's happening with Six? Bro, I don't know what to make of this so far. This is exciting. Let me try and go this way, though. Open the door. Yep. Yep, look at that junk. Familiar faces doing their actions. This is the side of things we never got to see, am I right? Can we go back? Oh, dang, we can't go back. What's he doing down there? Is he, like, patrolling? We're on, like, an upper floor, right? Wait, has he got someone? Oh, look, he's got a child, Matt, Matt bro, this, this guy. So we're on, like, an upper floor. All of these rooms may have someone in. That's absolutely crazy to think about, right? Like, every single one of these rooms could have thousands of beds. Well, maybe not thousands, hundreds, you know? And someone broke out of this one on an upper floor here. Check out that art on the wall. We've got like the moor. Is that the moor? Or is that the boat that's coming into land? I'm not sure. Perhaps this bed here was the child we just saw getting dragged away by the, with the guy with large arms, maybe? Like, dude, this is crazy. We are literally retracing steps. This is so exciting right here. Underneath here. Bro, what the freak are you, huh? Oh, it's those leeches. Well, we don't want to go near that. I like how this DLC is kind of determining or, should I say, interpreting as well, the fact that we are, I guess, already acquainted with the controls. So this is just prior to when Six actually comes down here. I wonder if we can see her. I'm not, I'm trying to find a point where the paths will cross, but I could not see that one there. We could probably jump down, but we may die. We gotta keep all of our eyes peeled though, man, you know? Like, there's gonna be some things around this place that we are gonna miss for sure. Can't reach the door handle, and I don't think there's any way we potentially could. So we are gonna be descending the way that I think Six came, because if I remember correctly, that door is open along that path, right? So the alternative route here. Oh, dude, I just fell pretty far then, didn't I? This is really interesting. We don't have any form of light either. I've already tried like lighting a, uh, a match or something. We don't have that. So we are going the opposing way that Six came through. But there's no way we can actually cover ourselves. So perhaps the best thing to do is to run furthest away from the eye. You know, because I don't really know how else I'll be able to get around this one. Wait. Bro, did you- Oh! Dang, 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 dang! Now nah, I'm gonna die. I was too amazed right there. Something just moved. That really caught my attention. Oh, shoot. Look, you can see that person moving. That person is alive. I thought they were a statue, man. So when I saw him move, that really took me by surprise. Let's try and get back around this junk here then. So I think that person's given us the hint. That's where we gotta go. Look at this. Watch, 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 watch. So they're gonna run. Oh! They've got a flashlight as well. Dude, we nearly got to talk to them, right? Let's play this safe then. Let's play this exactly how we just saw that other kid do that. So, the light then goes the other way. All right, we move now. We move sharpishly, and we've done it. Let's freaking go. What was that kid doing right there? I'm kind of fascinated. Any of these doors going to be open? No, for uh, So, is this before or after we've encountered Six? Or is Six still even sleeping, you know? We wake up, and then things go really uh, downhill, I guess, from there. We are retracing our steps. This is kind of fascinating, though, like... We are seeing a totally different side of things right here. All right, we can move this thing. We're going to have a play, I guess. Not going to give us anything from it. So 
Let's keep going. We've got these swings here. We can swing on them, but again, nothing more comes of it other than that. The gate doesn't seem to be electrified, so there's no reason why we can't just pass through. And again, we can just continually keep going. What is this trying to say? There's something in the sink. Bro, who is that? Who the freak is that? Are you seeing that? Well, of course you're freaking out. This person, I think, is trying to lead us along like a safety route. I, I kind of think that they're trying to save us here. Or maybe we're just using them as inspiration for our own escape. Either way, we know that they just laid a rope down there, so we can use that to definitely leverage ourselves down. Supplying they didn't take it with them, that'd be kind of selfish, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what we got here. We jump through all these gates. Okay, and we need to grab immediately. Ooh, look at this. Where is she going? She's going through the little hole right there. Wait, what's that sound? You hear that? Yep, okay, it's on the upper floor there. Wait, didn't we climb this way as six as well? I can't remember. I'm trying to look for as many links as I can right here. Let's keep this moving anyway in the meantime. We're going through... I'm just trying to remember if there's anything that I can recall from Six's story here. All I know is that I'm checking out this before we go and proceed down. So, wait, ready? I'm trying every variation. Like, I'm letting go at the highest point, but it looks like that is not going to be able to budge for us. No, we can't see that. Let's drop down the guttering. Ooh, I say drop down. I seriously mean drop down, bro. Like, walk. Uh... Who that? Yeah, that, uh, that didn't bode well for me. The definitely kind of cries of whatever that was. I feel like we're not alone in the water down here. And I feel like that's a good decision, or way of thinking at least, to have. So, nothing so far. And where do we need to get? Maybe over here? Can I maybe use this as like a way to climb up? I can't, although I need to get up there. We could probably drag this, right? If I was to grab like the handle or something. Let me just see. Yep, yep, yep. I got it. I got it. So, we got to move over toward this here. Then we can simply hop up and get the freak out of this water. And we're up and out. Nice. Okay, let me check over here, guys. I'm not going to leave any stone unturned, or at least not intentionally. I want to see if I can find any small things that could be easily missed, you know? I mean, the camera seems to cover us there, so perhaps it's trying to tell us that there's nothing over there. Plank of wood has already been torn off this wall here, so it just makes me think maybe the person just before us has already broken through. Can we just hop through here? Yes, we can. The torch is now... Wait, what? Dude. What happened? Huh? We got the torch. Where's the girl? Huh? Ooh. I don't like the looks of this right here. There's footprints, there's handprints, and they're covered in ink. We know those little ink things, they will kill you, right? They suck the blood out of you. And considering our size and their scale, it's probably enough of blood for just one. Are you the freaking killer? Huh? Get the freak away from me, you dingus. Get out of here. Right, let's keep going. What is this way? Did you kill the girl? I want to try and find any traces of this girl now lurking around. I'm sure we'll be able to if we look hard enough. Hopefully, she'll still be alive there when we find her. Maybe she just ran for it. That's the hope, at least. I don't want to see no dead girls right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They move quick in the water. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Side, side, side. Here we go. No, you don't. Up and over, up and over. Yep, yep. Oh, boy. That was close. Too close for comfort. Oh, boy. Get off the grating. Get off the grating. Let's go. Look at them all swarming down there. <sighs> Thank goodness they can't jump, you know? Fortunately, we can. Now, let's freaking go. We gotta go. Go. Yes. Great stuff. Whoa. That sounds a lot like the dude with the long arms, right? So this is the sequence I think we see on the chapter selection point, which probably means that... <laughs> you know. Yeah, there's something in that water, I think. Listen how, like, silent it is. It's just... Wow, okay. Not so silent. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it, man. We can mess around here. We can kind of theorize, but ultimately, what are we gonna gain from it? Nothing but fear and phobias. So... Let's get out of here. Come on, I see the escape route just here. Did that just illuminate or is that just my eyes? Probably my eyes, to be honest. I'm up and out. All right, into another portion. Okay, fortunately, it's only a small one. Get out of the water, kid. Nice, get this flashlight back on. So it's waterproof. Not bad, not bad, I'll take it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, man. We have nothing more to lose. Oh, well, yeah, that's not creepy at all, is it, you know? There's some weird junk going on in this place. Can I get on the, uh cooker? No, nope, I guess not. A huge look how bland this whole, like... Ooh! Ooh! We gotta go! We gotta freaking go! Come on! It's gonna get us! It's gonna get us! Come on! No, wait, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good! Oh my god! Woo! The thing out of the nightmares! Did you see the hand going like... Okay, what is that thing, huh? What on earth is that? Oh, I don't really want to know. I'm being honest, that was not cool. That was not cool at all. <sighs> Felt too close for comfort too. I'm sure we was fine, but goodness me. Looks like there's one way down from here, guys, and that is literally down. We gotta drop down. And, well, man, that's gonna hurt the feet, but other than that, 
We seem good. And I can feel the terror rising. Is this like a swimming pool? Like, maybe... Whoa. That is a cluster. Can we pick up the can? I think we gotta throw it at him. Come on. And... We did hit... Oh, man. Oh, man. And then they roam. And then they roam! As do we. As do we. Look at them all swimming. Whoa! Oh, my God. No! <laughs> Take your freaking can. Take it down to some kind of scrap dealership and sell it, all right? I've done you guys a favor. Now, do me one and get the freak away. I'm gonna lead them the long way around this time. Look at them swimming. They are swimming good. Okay, now we're gonna run. Look at that. That looks so creepy. Ugh, let's go. Get through there as fast as we can. Dang. <sighs> <laughs> this is good so far. I'm really enjoying this, dude. So we've got like an alternate path there. It's just gated off, so... Huh? The freak was that? Is that a mouse or something? Still don't know a whole lot about this character, though, you know? Like, I guess we're gonna learn as these different DLC releases kind of come on. But for now, it's all a big mystery. I mean, we know we're clearly trying to escape also, but why? We gotta know more about the more and what's happening with these kids here, because this kid right here was a victim until he woke up and decided, you know what, enough is enough. We're climbing up to the top. We've got some kind of heat source. I guess that's like a furnace. We're gonna pull the lever. It's right in front of us. Are we strong enough to? Oh, dang. Can we put, we can't push it either? Should be able to climb this here. I'm wondering if we gotta jump for like a, I guess a switch over there. Nope, okay. This time we are in line with it. So if we was to jump about now, come on. Yes, there we are. The light is on, so maybe this was on like a lock. If we push it now, let me just... Hold up, is that... That seems to be lit up down there now. That's interesting. Maybe that's the, the direction we gotta go. It is moving now. Good so... It's filling up the water, so we can, of course, then traverse up. I got ya. I got ya. Okay, okay, okay. We want it to be to about... There. So we let go... Oh, it keeps going anyway. That's gonna overflow. That is completely overflown now. Like, how are we going to do that? Do we have to kind of push this and figure it out on our own? Yeah, I think so. So let me just drain this a bit. Okay. Okay. Okay, we want it to be kind of th Oh, not quite, not quite. Maybe we can just swim through this, you know? And, like, quick keep swimming? It's going to stop there. All right. Yep, I think this was what I wanted us to do all along. Bro, this place looks disgusting. Tin cans. This water's got to be stagnant, you know? Like, we got to smell like a friggin' piece of- We're up. And I guess there's more wood that we can break off right here. Ooh. Hold up. No, there's a grate. We could probably snap this off. Let me see. There oh, we can push it. Okay. Here we are, then. We are through some more. So, I'm wondering if the main, like, enemy here is, like, an underwater thing. That's what I'm kind of getting at, slowly but surely. <gasps> oh. Oh. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Can you see that? Wow. It's over there. There's an actual silhouette underneath the water of something. Oh my god. <laughs> this is it. Look, you can see it. Oh my gosh, man. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I need to make the most of my jump right here. Okay. So we're going to go right here. We're going to try and get on that crate. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm being loud, man. That is terror. I need to terrorizing. But I guess it is terrorizing, to be honest. Terrorizing us. So that's going to be the new antagonist, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You sit there and make those freak... You you literal savage. That's no good. That's no good! Oh, my God, the hand... Yeah, this, this real. That piece of savage, though, man. It, like, knocks the thing we're standing on. So I'm gonna stand in the middle of this until I get a good idea. So I need to jump straight to that box right there. We get one shot at this, man. And that thing goes... Look at that! Ooh! Okay, it's far away. It's far away. Get on here. Please don't knock this. Okay, I'm gonna keep jumping just in case it's gonna try and knock it whilst we're standing on it. The only way... Look at it. It's waiting for us right there. We need to wait. We need to wait. Look at that! Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Guys, we're gonna have to do a swim. Like, where is it? Where is it? It's just behind us. It's waiting for us to make the next move. Let's go. Let's go. This is all we can do here. This is all we can do here. Oh, this is all we can do. Whoa! The hand. It's swam. <sighs> My eyes are literally watering. This is intense as heck right now, you know? Okay, we need to get over right there. That is the next safe point. We can hear the bubbling just underneath us. It is watching, okay? And it knows that we know it's watching. Let's see if we can land on this barrel right here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna go this way here. Let's jump. It's a good jump. Okay. That was a good job. We didn't go that way in the end, I guess. I, I think anyway. Go. go. Okay, we're good. Onto here. We're good. Onto here. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. 
So it lurks in the water, man. I hope that's some kind of like draining switch, you know? Whatever that thing is living under the water. How is it even breathing? Like, what the heck is going- Dude, what is that junk? Is that a human? Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Something was holding on to that. That was like a piece of meat or something. Bruh. I missed. Are you serious? I missed. Wait. Oh. I, I just saw that. Oh! This DLC is good. I really like this so far. It's, look, it's holding it, I think. Then it lets go. And that's, that's obviously like the telltale hint that the new thing, or whatever it is, is definitely lurking down the next side. There's, there's a child's arm on that. Okay, so uh, whatever that thing is, it did capture children. That is just a bag full of like hundreds of them. Okay, we gotta swing on it, you know, we gotta Wait, why can't I grab that? I'm really unsure what we gotta do here. I can't- I can't get out of the water once I'm in it either. Like, it's gonna get me. If I've dipped that in the water, it grabs it again. Is that a way to destruct? Wait, hold up. Maybe we don't need that. Maybe we can just use the rope itself. You know, let me try this. Here we go, here we go. Oh, so we can grab onto that? Huh. Maybe I was doing it too high. I'm not too sure, man. So, now we need to swing onto the hook. Okay, I need to really judge this. It's hard to judge the angle I'm at. I think that's gonna be the optimal one, and here we go. Okay, grabbing onto the hook. We are now making grounds, guys. We get onto this small bay-like thing here. And I guess we've got to figure out the next part to whatever problem we're facing right here. So we've got fish heads. That's interesting. Why are we receiving those? There's got to be a reason why. Is that going to be a distraction? Like, there's more hooks and stuff. Like, maybe we could throw... Let me just see. i got to test the waters, like, literally. Wait, 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 wait. Stop walking, kid. What the freak? Okay, you're tripping on yourself. That's a good distraction time right there. That gives us at least 10 seconds. Okay, and we could swim onto that bay there. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna throw this right over there. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. And we're gonna go. We're just gonna go for it, okay? I did throw it. It sounds like it was enough. It was enough. Okay, we're gonna get onto the dryness of the dark. Ah! Oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> Barely. Okay, gosh! That was close. That was too close, man. I thought I had that on lockdown. Clearly not. Partial solution to that problem right there. But we got it. That's the main thing. We're gonna keep on keeping. Okay, let's get the heck over here. Nice little jump. Okay, and we're over. And there's another doorway here with an eye. Have we got to go through that, or is there an alternative way we can go? Because look, we can't open that door unless we can just simply push. We can't pull it either. Huh. So there's some kind of like rope structure here. We can see that it's on like a, a winder or some kind. Uh oh, I didn't see this here. Let's take a look in here. Maybe the solution is easier than we think. Okay, or not. I kind of feel like this puzzle involves this right here, because if you look, when we stand on the end here, it kind of like unbalances, I think anyway. Wait, oh, okay, I guess not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Wait, what the f- Okay, I think I just encountered a bug. I, I don't know, guys, I feel like there's something I need to do involving this thing. It like, if you look up, if we turn the light on, there is a noose right there, which one is morbid as heck, I'm gonna say that. Maybe there's like a crank or something, this side we can do, operate, oh, I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe troll and error is the best thing to do. I was just running around, guys. So, this wooden plank is loose. So, that was it. That's all we needed to do. Run this thing. But it look. I still got it. I still freaking got it. Okay, swing open. Nicely cool. Can I grab onto this? No. Nope. Okay. Although, this time it appears peaceful. As though the monster is yet to roam this land. That's what I'm going to assume. I think we're good here. All right, let's climb up. And now we're on dry land, which is the safety zone. All right then, guys, and this is going to be the end of part one of Little Nightmares Secrets of the Moor. This is really interesting. I want to see some more links with Six or maybe with the antagonist that we're seeing underwater right now. Although that thing is kind of terrifying, right? It's going to shape up really nicely, though, guys. But in the meantime, I really hope you did, of course, enjoy this video. And if you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.